the sky eye by matthias claudius seventeen forty to eighteen fifteen this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org a parable there was a time when men made shift with what nature brought them and were forced to live upon acorns and other hard and coarse fare then came from a distance a man osiris by name and said to them there is a better fare for man and an art of providing it in perpetual plenty and i am come to teach you the secret he taught them the secret and prepared a field before their eyes and said see this must ye do the sky eye influences will perform the rest the seed sprang up and increased and brought forth fruit and men were greatly astonished and delighted and tilled the field with industry and to great advantage in course of time some of them found the method of cultivation too simple and could not put up with the fatigue of the open air and the seasons come said they let us hedge the field round according to rule and wall it up by art let us make a canopy over it and pursue our agriculture beneath with comfort and every convenience the sky eye influences will not be so very necessary besides no one sees them but returned others osiris opened heaven and said this must ye do the sky eye influences will perform the rest yes but only to set agriculture going was the reply we can paint the sky on the ceiling for that matter so they had their field hedged and walled round after rule and art and over it raised a canopy whereupon they painted the sky and the corn would not grow and they cultivated and ploughed dunged and tilled again and again and yet the corn would not grow and they tilled and tilled and many of the standers by looked on and laughed them to scorn finally also they treated osiris and his secret in like manner end of the sky eye by matthias claudius seventeen forty to eighteen fifteen